Meeting to order. We stand for the pledge. Pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Stephanie. John. Here. Dale is here. Mark is absent and Scott is absent. Can I get an approval of the agenda? A motion that we approve the agenda, agenda as presented. Motion by John to approve the agenda as presented. Is there a second? I'll second. Second by Stephanie. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Any further discussion? Barring none, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, you want to look over the October 7th meeting minutes for our two meetings we had? to do this on a cell phone, Dale. I don't see anything, do you, Seth? No, I didn't notice anything when I read them before. Motion by Stephanie to approve the October 7th meeting minutes from the 4.30 and the 6 p.m. meeting as presented and dispense with the reading. I'll second that. Seconded by John. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Any discussion? Barring none, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. I'm going to look over the bills. Um, as far as the bills, I did send out the spreadsheet that um, Travis helped me um, with kind of going through his bills and what um, account they should come out of. Um, I, I do have a uh, a few discrepancies with those. Um, there is a line that uh, he has that says that it's a non-IT budget um, issue and I had it coming out of the IT. I, I do feel that it should come out of IT so I will have some questions for you guys regarding those of where you would like to take it out of. Um, but there is some, I, I do, I would like a little bit more time to kind of go through those. Maddie wasn't in the office this week. Um, so I do want to, me have one of the spreadsheets and Maddie kind of have the invoices to kind of go back and forth. And um, because I did add a few invoices into one, so it's showing up as a bigger number on my sheet than what he has. So I, I, I do want a little bit more time to go through that. But we do have some invoices that I would like to get paid at today's meeting uh, because they are already late and I don't want to have them any more late because we are subject to a 1.5% late fee, um, daily late fee. So I do want to get these paid, um, but I don't 100% I don't know what account they should come out of at this point. Um, 
I, I, I can tell you what Travis wanted them to come out of, but I think for just the time being, I'd like them just to come out of IT tech support. And then I can do a corrective invoice at the next meeting when I have a little bit more time to go through that. So just wanted to yeah. kind of let you guys know. Oh, yes. I'll move that we table this discussion until the next meeting. I'd also ask that Travis be present at that meeting. Okay. Um, with one of the discussions being the 1.5% daily late fee. There, there, there's no, there, there's no sense in that other than, I don't know what the sense of that is. Well, that, that, that's, that's not how a customer treats a client. Okay. I think we should still pay Travis the bill. That's his bill, just because of the coding as to what GL account to use. Yep, yep. I. I I do ask that you yeah. guys will pay this, you know, the invoices that I just sent out last night. Um, but just take it out of IT tech support just for now and let me kind of figure out because some of this stuff was what I had it come out, in, out of software. It should have been out of battery backup and what's coming out of battery backup should have been software. So I do need to get those switched. And then, but um, there was some that were, you know, when I had him help me with my getting into my VPN, I I would have cal um, classified that as tech support, and he um, classified that as a non IT budget issue. Um, there was, um, you know, any work that he did, you know, for the county agent's office, he said that was a non IT um, budget issue. Well, we don't have any other budget to kind of take that out of, so those are questions that I will have for you guys of where you guys would like those taken out of. Um, but as far as the, you know, um, the $617 he wants out of tech support, um, there was the 9353 that he says was for the state's attorneys, Adobe, I would have taken that out of software, but he says that's a non IT budget issue. So as of right now, just to get these paid for the time being, I'd like these just taken out of tech support. So that then I can kind of go through and and we get them paid, but then it's on my bookkeeping side of it. Then I I would make the motion that we pay the prescribed amount twenty was it twenty one hundred dollars, Samantha? Uh, yeah, I do believe so. I. Do you have your calculator? I do. Can you calculate these for me? What my, my, my question on that with, with uh, Travis is, why are we asking a vendor to code our billing? Uh, because he submits the budget. So I don't know exactly where he, you know, when he came to you guys to do up his budget, he knew where he wanted those things to come out of. Uh, I didn't do, you know, I didn't do up his budget. He did up his own budget. So then he knew where he was budgeting these things out of. So then that's where I asked him for his help as to, you know, did we take this bill out of the right account that you budgeted for it? Is kind of. Let, let's have this discussion. Let's have this discussion when it, when we have all the information in front of us, and Travis is also there. For now, let's let's pay the twenty one hundred dollars. Let's instruct Brad, Travis to put a freeze on any more expenditures until we get the chance to go through this. Because this is clearly something that is different than what we've experienced before. And we need to know what the difference is. In, in prior years, we have budgeted a, a overall amount to run, to take care of the IT overall. And it's always stayed within those parameters. This is, this is different than what we're used to. So we need to see exactly what has changed why it has changed, and if we we're going to allow the change. So again, I, 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 my motion would be to table this discussion, to pay the items that are going to be late, and to instruct Travis to not spend any more money until we can get to the bottom of what's happening here at next meeting. A motion by John to table the discussion on the IT expenditures 
and pay those expenditures as presented for this month. Is there a second of the motion? Is it really just John I and you? Yes. Okay. Okay, second. Seconded by Stephanie. <laughs> okay. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Any further discussion? Uh, barring none, will see to vote. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, motion carries. Anybody see anything with the rest of the vouchers? to accept the vouchers. Motion by Stephanie to accept the vouchers as presented. Is there a second? All turns. Seconded by John. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Any further discussion? Barring none, we'll proceed to vote. John? Aye. Stephanie? Aye. Dale votes aye. Motion carries. Sheriff Michaelis, what yes, have you sir. got for us today? I just wanted to update everyone on this vehicle situation. Okay. I still only have a quote. There's no direct numbers yet. There's no final numbers. Okay. It was just in there today, and nobody has fleet numbers. Okay. So the estimate is still 29904 And I just, so the Ford was having issues, and I told them I just wanted to... Uh, to see what it would cost to fix it. Just wanted an estimate. Uh, the no, bear with me because I'm not a car person. But the manifold and catalyst converter is cracked and leaking exhaust because it smelled really bad. So they looked at that, and it needs new front brakes and uh, passenger side mirror. So they quoted me twenty five fourteen. To fix it. Okay. So I just brought it to you guys because how much do we want to put into that car? If we're getting something else, or do we have to get a choice? In order to sell it, should you have the catalytic converter? That brings that me up to date on that. I yeah. asked them for a value on selling it. He said 4000 fixed, 2600 if not fixed. And I, I'll give you this too, Dale, if sure. you want it. If it's having issues, can we just leave it sit until later? I mean, we can. Yeah, you know, we're you're, not driving it. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I wanted to bring it to you guys yeah. before, I mean. I, I would. It doesn't look like it pays to fix it. Well, that's <laughs> You know. Unless we, you know, a, unless a, we get someone hired before we get a new vehicle. Right. Which he said is now probably going to be six months out. Before we get a new vehicle. Well. And I don't even know if we can order one because we don't have a price. I just have a ballpark. Yeah. And he, you know, he was hoping for the prices in July and then September and they're just not getting them. It's like everything else. So that's why I'm kind of here just to show you guys this mess. Yeah. <laughs> when are you, have you been interviewed deputies? Mm-hmm. Hopefully have one starting December 16th. I gave okay. one a conditional offer. 
Um, I did bring his resume if anyone wanted to see it. Just to be nosy because he seems like a good kid. Okay. So it's conditional, you know, pending his background check and that he he uh, passes the academy. He's from he's from the area. He went to Dakota Prairie, lives up by Aneta, mm -hmm. actually in Griggs County, so that's nice. Well, it looks like you probably were going to need to get your Ford on the road before a new one is available. So, Are the parts available for it? I, he said they should be able to fix it. But mm -hmm. I told him just don't touch it till you figure out. Just left when me. is he done with school? December sixteenth. Oh, nice. Yeah. And he's from. And he's from around here. Yeah, he's kind of a local kid. Aneta, uh, Dalton Hassel. Shane's known him all his life from horse shows and stuff. Nice. Seems like a good kid. Yeah. What did you say the start? I hear start date. December sixteenth. Oh. How much is left in the your maintenance budget? You got enough to pay the twenty five fourteen oh, to fix your wheels. Me. Oh my god! Sorry, Sam. You could. You could. Sam's a go to. in all likelihood you'll be driving that forward for repairs and maintenance you have two thousand seven or two thousand seventy six dollars and forty two cents left so I'd go over yeah. or you can amend that but in all likelihood that a new vehicle isn't going to be here in for a while <laughs> Sitting on a lot someplace waiting for a chip like all the rest of them. Mm -hmm. well. and that's all I have. Okay. Um, I guess my biggest thing it was the maintenance on that, and then do I wait till we get an actual number for the vehicle? Or I don't know. Do we. Do we order a vehicle without having the the final number in hand? Well, why can't they give us a final number? The, the fleet prices aren't out. For any, every single uh, dealership I called is the same thing. Okay. They all have the same issue. Let me just say I ordered a new vehicle March of last year. And I was told to be here by October. Now I'm told we're going to get a 2022 because it's not going to be coming until after the new year. So, but we're still getting the same price. That's good. Yeah. You got a little deal, maybe. Mm -hmm. But you're probably paying right. maintenance on the old one. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I, I don't. Well, I don't, I suppose you almost have to get in line to get one, if you're, wouldn't you guys agree that you should order it regardless of what, if the cost is unknown, just to get in line, I don't, I wouldn't think it would change significantly, but I don't know that. So we just don't know the freight costs? Is that what it is? I'm not 100% sure on how fleet pricing works, but that's what they don't have. What's the 29904 based off of? 
Um, he said it looks like the price would be around twenty nine nine zero four, because it lists at thirty seven six twenty. So with our fleet price, our municipal discount, he said it's around twenty nine nine zero four, but that's the number that they haven't given them solid. I'm okay with that. But we just don't know what our discount is going to be. Right. Okay. And, and they will take orders on them? Mm-hmm. He told me to call them right away. But. Okay. Do you suggest she put an order in for the patrol vehicle, John? Um, I... I wouldn't, I, I don't know, no. I, I don't know. I, I, maybe we should have a little bit more information and we can make the decision next meeting. Okay. I mean, maybe, maybe she should make some guidelines of um, how much, it, how much could be over under yeah, a little yeah. bit more specific and, and then we can, so we have something to actually, it doesn't look very good voting just to go ahead and we don't even have an idea of anything at all on price well the the 2904 but they're not right that's all he knows yeah that's i don't know if there will be more information available but we can wait till next meeting they put it in right that's in writing we have something in writing to that effect the 2904 yeah from the dealership. Yep. She's got an email from the dealership. Yeah, then that's. I'm, I'm fine with it. I, I don't know if it's fine, but I, I, I'm fine. To go ahead and order it without the I mean, I exact fleet pricing. Issue. I'm fine with that. It's, you know, whatever you and Seth think, I guess so. No. Or whatever one of you think. Yeah. <laughs> And then I, I think we should go ahead and fix the Ford because we're not going to get this new vehicle in time, and it's uh, it's going to overspend your maintenance budget by a few hundred dollars. Do you on that? Yes, please. I'll do two separate motions. I'll make a motion to fix the Ford. Which one is it? Ford. Fix the Ford. I have a motion from Stephanie to fix the Ford Explorer for twenty five fourteen. Is that correct? For twenty five hundred fourteen dollars, which will put her over budget on maintenance. Is there a second? I'll second that. Seconded by John. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Any further discussion? Barry, none will proceed to vote. John? Aye. Stephanie? Aye. Dale votes aye. Motion carries. Do we need a motion to order this new vehicle? I wouldn't think so. I think we already. We already, we already bu budget. budgeted it. Yeah, so. Yeah. I, I just go ahead and and have them place an order. I guess from my, from my perspective, I was already under the impression it was ordered, so I don't. I wasn't getting get in trouble, John. I don't want you to be able to know when you're going to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then you're not very cautious then. <laughs> <laughs> No, no I, and, and I appreciate I appreciate you bringing us to us. That was, that's the more information, the better. Yeah, yeah. I've been bugging him on uh, you know a number, and it's just not coming. So I thought, well, I might as well just go explain how this is going. <laughs> nope, very very good. Oh. And I think you're doing a wonderful job. I have, I've heard nothing but good things about the sheriff's department. Thank you. <laughs> what do I do with this now? Um, can we go just down to the Barnes County Correction Facility? Oh, sure. Uh, we'll, we'll skip on down to Barnes County Correction Facility uh, prisoner boarding contract.
I guess I talked to Jamie. He's looked it over, and it's pretty standard. So I would make the motion that we enter into the contract as prescribed. Motion by John to enter into the contract with the Barnes County Correction Facility for prisoner boarding. Is there a second? I'll second. Seconded by Stephanie. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Any further discussion? Or none. Proceed to vote. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. We need my signature on this. Yeah, I think so. Thank you, everyone. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we got uh, the clerk court, just an FYI. That is just an FYI. She decided that she doesn't think that it would be um, necessary for her to come in and talk to you guys because you guys already did approve her um, submitting for the grant, but she will come in and... Uh, touch base with you guys before she submits it so okay i started working up the list backwards again jeff what have <laughs> you got for us today yeah good afternoon everyone uh i want to say thanks for your support for extension first but i wanted to come and report in person my activities for the last three months uh we currently have well not currently as of the time of the fair we had 56 4-h members in the county 13 of which were clover buds that's an increase of six members compared to 2020. the griggs county fair was a huge success with many compliments there were 141 static exhibits and 263 animal entries uh, at the fair all, all up from 2019. 35 members with a total of 113 items went through the premium sale. There were 80 buyers this year donating $28,510 during the sale. 21 4-H members showed a total of 55 static exhibits and five members showed 14 animal exhibits at the North Dakota State Fair. 14% of the static exhibits received an award at the State Fair. Rosie and Amelia Abraham received first place in the state for the communications arts competition during the State Fair. And then Amelia Abraham, Maddie Abraham, Riley Amons, uh, Oliver Fuel, Mary Catherine Fuel placed second in the junior division of the state range judging contest that I went to in Reeder, North Dakota. Uh, Amelia placed third, Mary Catherine placed fourth, and Maddie placed 10th individual. And then we also had Rosie Abraham that participated in the uh, senior division. For my Ag and Natural Resources report, I held a small grains field day on July 16th uh, at Scott Tramby's farm. And we had 10 people attend that. Uh, we harvested my three research trials in August. The wheat variety trial was the only one that showed any differences uh, with uh, Spitfire and Wildcat yielding the most. And we had, um, I helped teach wood burning at the Eco Days, which is sponsored by NRCS and Soil Conservation Districts of Steele and Griggs County. And there were 68 children that participated in that program. I just wanted to let you know what I've been up to for the last three months and uh, ask if there's any questions or comments. Good job. I much appreciate everything you do. Thank you. Well, that's all I have. That's all you got? Yeah. Yep. It sounds like you've been busy anyway. Yep. What were the yields on the wheat? 
the yields were the one that won was uh, about 60 bushels. Okay. So we M had much a, variance in them. There was uh, we had, the lowest was about 40. Okay. So there was there was some differences between the varieties this year. Yeah, well, that's pretty significant. Yeah. Is that all you had in your trial was spring wheat or? Uh, in that particular trial, yes, yeah. was spring wheat, and then I had two trials looking at uh, uh, additive products at planting time, and sure. there was no differences with those oh. products. Yeah, it didn't matter what you throw on it when it doesn't rain. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Jeff. All right, well, thank you, guys. Okay, water board member. Um, so they've advertised for a water board member, and they can they don't have anybody. So wondering what. I, uh, I think we might have one. He was going to make a final decision. Okay. Uh, Jamie had talked to uh, Randy Holberson, and he he seemed like he would be interested, and and thought he'd be a good fit too. So. Okay. So we've, we've got a little little activity there. Uh, State Fair Delegate Kelly Hansen has agreed to do that again for us. Do we need to nominate him? Yes, please. Can I would nominate Kelly Hansen to be our State Fair Delegate. Motion by John to nominate Kelly Hansen to okay. be our delegate for the State Fair as their second. I'll second. Seconded by Stephanie. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Any discussion? Barry, none will proceed to vote. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Tax director. Um, me and Kelly, or me and Connie, sorry, me and Connie got together and we came up with a list of some of the duties. Um, I did want to kind of um, stress that, you know, it might just be a list, but some of these things do have, you know, more than one uh, task associated with them, like preparing for tax equalization. There's more thing that goes into it than just preparing for tax equalization. So just wanted to make that a note, I guess, on the list there, so. And, and these are the duties that are associated associated with getting ready for tax equalization, but they're not the duties that the Century Code says are the tax director's duties. Though those are the things that the tax director has done in the past, right. and that you know my office or Connie's office are completing on behalf of a tax director not being yeah. there. And yeah. No, 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 no. Let there. me correct that. <laughs> Those are duties that were prescribed to the tax director. They are not duties of the tax director. A lot of those duties are the are are, are supposed to be performed in house mostly by the unfortunately Sam, Samantha mostly by the auditor. And just because we just because the state or in house we, we we pawn them off the tax director doesn't mean those are duties of the tax director. The duties of the tax director are plainly laid out in the century code. And we can't just go to the century code and say we're gonna we're going to obey the century code when we want to and we're gonna disregard it when it's not to our benefit. That's not how it works. So that list is not a true accounting of what the tax director's actual duties are. And if you read the Century Code, the auditor is the one that prepares for the equals it helps most as most of preparation for the equalization meeting. Now I know that I know that's a burden, but that's the way it is. 
And, and when we've inquired to get a list like this from the state, they've told us to read the century code. And Correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. So well, we can talk about it, and we can. I'm I'm fully on board with hiring somebody from within the within our entity to do these jobs, so that so that Samantha does have someone, and Connie has someone that they can prescribe this to, you know, to do this. But let's let's not get off track and say that these are the actual prescribed duties of the equalization director because they're not. Right, no, it was just what the duties of the tax director were in the past and then the you know, the things yep. that are not, or, yep. yeah. No, I agree, I yeah. agree, and, and yeah. you know, we, we've talked about this so many times, and that's why we kind of wanted to have a secretarial tool or, and that the county commission could prescribe duties to and I'm still in favor of that, but that's for another meeting. Well, it's good we got a, a list in front of us, so if somebody wants to take on some of these, because there's money budgeted in that tax director budget, they'll get compensated for these additional. But if they're not tax right. director tax. And, and, and they wouldn't be compensated for Cast, they'd be compensated per hour in case it takes them longer than expected, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I think well, that's, a, that's the agreement we had with Connie, and I think Samantha also is that we paid by the hour for the tasks that need to be done. Mm -hmm. But they're not tax director duties or tasks. Excuse me? She said they're not tax, they're not the all tax director duties as pre prescribed by the century code. So it's, it's kind of hard to sort, sort it all. But, but you have to take our tax director budget to have these duties completed when they're not even tax director duties. Correct. Yeah. I mean, so that kind of doesn't... This is a fine line with this as to what, I mean, these are duties that need to be done and, and that aren't necessarily tax directors' duties or tasks. Well, whose are they then? Like, who's going to do the sales tax ratio because that is due in March? You know? And of course, that's discussion for a later date too. But yeah, well, we we got a a list of kind of what's required to get tax equalization completed now, and maybe we can discuss it more fully when we have all our members present and we're face to face. And yeah, and and the duties leading up to tax equalization are fairly are are spelled out in the century code. It doesn't assign. It doesn't assign necessarily who has to do them, but they're spelled out what needs to be done. Done. All right. It isn't. It isn't a mystery. There was. There was. Tax equalization was taking place long before the state ever dreamed up the idea of a tax director. That's true. <laughs> long before the, the tax director is is a is a function of the state trying to insert state control into county government and. That's all it was. They, they so we're we're getting by. We'll, we'll find a tax director eventually. In the meantime, we need to make sure that the citizens spend as little possible or get as much bang for their buck as we can give them. And always remember the principle that if it's a dollar spent, how does it benefit the citizens? If it doesn't benefit the citizens that are providing that money. Then it shouldn't be spent. Well, I think we can continue this discussion at our next meeting on tax director, if, unless anybody has anything else to add. No, I'm good. We we still running an ad, Sam? 
Nope, we haven't been running an ad because you guys wanted this list before okay. just to get yeah, maybe think, somebody in house. Yeah. yeah. Has there been any interest? In... No, nobody wants this. <laughs> Well, probably start running an ad again. You want me to start running an ad? Delinquent tax properties. Um, so you guys have a list in front of you of the delinquent tax um, properties that um, were delinquent for three years. Your the tax sale will be on November. I have it on there. Um, I don't want to say the wrong one. November 16th, yeah. So it's at November 16th, the third Tuesday uh, in November, um, that you guys will have your tax sale at 10.30 in the morning. These properties, um, the now the county has taken possession. They took possession on um, October 2nd. Um, the landowner, or the landowner had up until October 1st to pay one year. Now they have up until like the minute of your tax sale, but they have to pay all three years to um, get it before it is sold at the. At so th this is the total they need to pay. That's no, that's just the minimum one, bid. That's three plus years. Plus one more year. Plus one more year. Yes, okay. correct. And so I just want you guys to, you guys have to. Um, uh, say a minimum bid for these. You've usually done that three years plus one more year, um, but it's up to you. I'm probably going to lose it here. My phone's more good. Right? Um, we we need to stick with we need to stick with what we've always done before. We can't change we can't change the policy because that would in, in fact either benefit or the deficit of, of one of these owners. So it has to be the same policy. So you want to make a motion? I, I would make a motion that the policy, the prior policy for three years and interest paid up to date it remains policy. Mo motion by John to make the minimum bid on forfeited properties the three years plus one with interest and penalties. Is there a second? I'll second. Second by Stephanie. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Any further discussion? Barring none will proceed to vote. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Old courthouse, new courthouse. Nobody has anything. Future business. Um, you guys will talk about the um, bills, the IT bills. IT bills, okay. Yeah. And that should do it. And if we want to adjourn before we John's phone goes dead. Why? Real, real good. We can get it down at the moment it goes dead. I, I say aye, but I, I make a motion we adjourn. Motion by John to adjourn. Is there a second? Second by Stephanie. Any discussion? I'll second. Any discussion? Any further discussion? Barring none, we'll cede to vote. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those same sign. Motion carries. Meeting is adjourned at 3.15 p.m. Next meeting is on Thursday, November 4th at 2.30 and 4th. That, that isn't right. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. 4th and 18th. I'm looking at yeah. wrong. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, everyone.